Hello everyone and welcome to another Let's Play. My name is Anna Myrtle and this is a Let's Play of The Crown and the Flame book one from the Choices app in the Android and Apple app stores. <laughs> um, so let's get started. Chapter three, the Rajkur Temple is under attack. Meanwhile, Dominic struggles to stay safe inside Stormhold under Prince Marco's brutal regime. Okay. Where's my music? Oh. Oh, there's that hum. Somebody said they heard a hum on the line, but I don't know if that's coming from the app or what. I will do what I can with that. Chapter 3, The Ambush. There we go. Now playing is Kenna. I think... There's a lot of sounds. Okay, so full disclosure, I have a hearing disability, so a lot of times I can't hear things that y'all can hear in the games. And I think there's ambient sounds, like crickets or something. I'm not sure. Anyway, so if you're hearing stuff, that might be part of the game. Now playing is Kenneth. In the words outside the monastery, you and Gabriel hide with your weapons ready, waiting for Marco's assassins. So as you remember, Marco's dad, Luther, left the stronghold to go fight the Iron Empire. And Marco sent assassins after Kenna, and Dominic overheard and sent his hawk to warn her. We were lucky to get Dominic's message in time. Hawker has earned a lifetime of fresh meat. Heh, <laughs> agreed. Now anyone coming from Stormhold will have to come through this forest. We just have to wait. Suddenly, you spot three assassins creeping along the path. Knocking an arrow in your longbow, you pull back on the bowstring and focus on the first assassin. You notice the wind is blowing to the right. So I'll aim to the left. You aim your arrow slightly to the left of the first assassin's head. I have you now. You fire the arrow, sending it flying into the head of the first assassin. It strikes with a sickening thunk. What was that? Who's out there? Knocking another arrow, you aim at the second assassin, but your view is obscured by trees. Wait. He creeps past the trees, giving you a clear shot. Your arrow punctures a gap in his armor just above his breastplate. He falls to his knees, his hands grasping at his neck. The third assassin whirls around with his neck drawn. Or with his axe drawn, sorry. <laughs> I see you, girl. I will use my core guitar. As the assassin nears on your position, you drop your bow to the ground and take up your core guitar. This is the end for you. I don't think so. You spin the core guitar and catch the assassin in the chest with one of the blades. He stumbles back. The assassin raises his axe over his head but you slash at him and lock off the hand holding the axe. Ah! <laughs> you twirl the core guitar one more time and jam it upwards between, beneath the assassin's jaw, perpendicular with the skull. The assassin collapses in a heap. Whew. Kenna? It's done, Gabriel. The sound of horses galloping fills the forest. It can't be. Dozens more assassins rush through the forest, some on horseback, others marching on foot. Marco didn't just send assassins, he sent an entire army. We can't stop them all. 
The monks. We've got to get back to the monastery. We won't be faster than mounted soldiers. We've still got to try. Hold on, just a second. I pause. And we're back. Sorry about that. Keeping to the shadows, you and Gabriel make your way back to the monastery. The monastery is in flames. Marco's soldiers swarm around it. Damn! Damn! I never imagined he'd send so many. They had us badly outnumbered. There's nothing we could have done. Do you think the monks made it out in time? They knew it might come to this. I'm certain they made it out. Oh no. From behind a pillar, you watch as two of Prince Marco's soldiers drag one of the monks forward. Where is the false queen? I do not answer to you. You know, I've never tortured a monk before. Will you hold out longer than a common man? Only one way to find out. I'll need my tools. Stay if you must, but I'm leaving. By being here, we're already going against King Luther's wishes. You mean we're following Prince Marco's orders. We both know the king didn't care for Marco's plan. Besides, the girl's not here. Which means she was warned. She knew we were coming. Fine. Soldiers, take this man with us for questioning. No. We cannot allow this to happen. We don't have a choice. If we reveal ourselves, we risk everything the monks fought for. So, <laughs> <clears throat> the first time I played this, I did try to save him, and it turns out that you die if you do that because you actually can't destroy an entire army with just your one little hook poor guitar, which is a shame because I would have liked to. So, we have to flee. We have no choice. As you and Gabriel creep through the forest, you breathe deeply, trying to block out your rage. Kenna, look! Hawker circles overhead. Hawker is circling the monastery. Quick, call him now before Marco's people see him. Dom's hawk will come if I whistle two short blasts. That's it. Hawker veers sharply and lands on your wrist. I knew I remembered it. Hello, old friend. At least we managed to save you. And I've got a mission for you. I need you to take a message to Dom. At the temple, Bartel gazes out at the woods. Helene, did you see that? See what? That hawk. The way it dove. Most peculiar. Everything about you is most peculiar. Focus on what matters. Tch. Later that night, you and Gabriel are camping out. The monastery is destroyed. The monks driven out, my training master captured, all because of me. You can't blame yourself. They knew the risk of keeping you hidden. Now you must be strong. The best way to honor the man who taught you to fight is to use what he taught you to defeat King Luther. I couldn't agree more. With Luther taking the bulk of his forces west, there won't be a better time to take back Stormholt. That's true. But what about Prince Marco's army? We have roughly 50 Rajkran monks. And now they have even more reason to help you against Marco. We also have Prince Tevin's soldiers. He's bringing us 200 of his best fighters. That's a start, but we'll need more. Much more. What about my people? Your people will rally against the Nevrakis family. They are village folk, blacksmiths and merchants, farmers and milkmaids. Then we'll find soldiers, 
Surely there are others who will stand against Prince Marco. And once we find enough soldiers to build an army, we'll need food, weapons, armor. I know. We'll need coin to pay for all that. And siege weaponry. Stormholt's castle walls are impregnable. That's why your mother made it the heart of her kingdom. Marco will be looking for us. We don't have much time. Where should we go first? I've heard rumors that the captain of your mother's royal guard made it out of Stormholt with many of his men. I remember him. His name was Leon. Captain Leon, right? Yes, that's correct. Last I heard, he was spotted roaming the grasslands, trying to avoid Luther's men. Then we've got to find him and convince him to join us. Hawker will relay our plan to Dom. I know Dom. He'll figure out a way to help us bring down Stormholt. Knowing Dom, he won't rest until he hands you back your crown himself. Now we get to play as Dominic. At the Stormholt Castle, you and Tristan are hauling kitchen supplies when a familiar cry sounds from above. Looking up, you see Hawker. Hawker! You whistle two short blasts. Hawker circles and lands on your arm. There's something tied to Hawker's leg. Is it from Kenna? Did your warning reach her in time? Pulling off the message, you release Hawker. But before you can read what Kenna wrote, a soldier spots you. What's this? A couple of lazy servants wasting time? We were just hauling these supplies to the kitchen. Looked like you were just standing around, waiting for them to haul themselves. The soldier kicks over a basket of fruit. Best pick that up, boy. Now isn't the time to fight. I don't want him to spot Kenna's message. I've got to control your anger. Yes, sir. Of course. You bend down to pick up the fruit. Looking at your hand, you see fire flickering along your palm. But you clench your fist and take a deep breath. The fire disappears as though pulled back into your hand. I was able to control it. Sorry for taking your time, sir. You'd better be. Now get out of here in the kitchen. That was close. Did you manage to hold on to the message? Right here. Let's see what it says. Now is the time to act. Before the winter thaw, I will return to attack Stormhold and take back our home once and for all. It's really going to happen, isn't it? Tristan, Marco is going to fall. And we'll be helping Kenna every step of the way. You and Kenna, you were close, weren't you? As close as an abandoned orphan and a princess were allowed to be. Doesn't sound very close to me. It wasn't, usually. We never got to spend more than a few minutes alone together. Gabriel was always looming over us like an angry guard dog. But there was this one time. I'd gone to the Beltane Festival by myself, and there she was. She disguised herself as a peasant girl, but I had to recognize Kenna anywhere. You went to the Beltane Festival with the princess? You feel your face grow hot and look away very quickly. It wasn't like that. I mean, we didn't go together, but... But you were there, together, at the Beltane Festival. They say a girl is as likely to kiss you as look at you at Beltane. Now is your chance to relive one of Dom's most precious memories. Help Kenna make the most of her one night of freedom. Was this the night that friendship blossomed into something more? So, <coughs> I haven't actually seen this one. Because my first time through, I was trying to save diamonds. Because I hadn't just given up and bought them. Um, and I didn't really care about Dom and Kenna very much. But when you by the scenes you get extra army power which I didn't need I still won the game but anyway I wanted to we'll go ahead and do it so we will we will do the I remember every detail so I haven't seen this scene before it was the festival of Beltane four years ago you think back 
You're walking past the festival booths and bonfires outside the castle walls when you spot a familiar figure in a cloak. Oh, look at young Kenna. <laughs> she looks so cute as a peasant girl. I'm going to... I'll ask her why she's frowning. Well, if it isn't Princess Kenna, why such a somber expression? Oh, Dom! Shush! Can't you see that I'm in disguise? I suppose it must be a poor one if you recognize me so quickly. And why would Princess Kenna not want to be Princess Kenna right now? It's the Festival of Beltane! I wanted to spend some time away from the castle and... And, well, it's silly. Go on, try me. I wanted to pretend to be a normal girl, just for a few hours. Let me help. Really? Are you kidding? I'm dying to see your normal girl impression. Kenna punches your arm. What shall we do first? The first thing you need is something cheap and tasty. <laughs> like me. <laughs> no, that's not what he said. The first thing you need is something cheap and tasty. Merchant, I'll take two charred chicken wings. We're not going to get her drunk on ale. You take the chicken and hand one to Kenna. This is black as soot. Are you sure it's edible? Trust me, eat up. This, this is delicious. You said you wanted a taste of being a normal girl. That I did. Oh! Right in front of you, a village maiden pulls a young man into a deep kiss. He lifts her up onto a barrel and begins kissing her neck. That's Beltane for you. I guess you might be seeing more than you bargained for. It's not that. I envy them sometimes. Who? The maidens in the castle, the village, the farms, the ones who can kiss every man at this festival if they feel like it. Not like you. Heavens forbid. Oh, I see now. You're looking to get kissed at the Beltane Festival. No, that's not... Everyone knows that every girl gets as many kisses as she wants around the bonfires on the night of Beltane. I, I only wanted to go to the festival. I wasn't planning to... No, I see it all now. You want a hundred kisses tonight and you'll stop at nothing to get them. That's not it. I, I've never even kissed anyone. You haven't? Is it so surprising? I am the princess of Stormholt. My mother has made it very clear that I'll be the most sought after prize once the alliance is finalized. My first kiss will probably be to seal some grand trade arrangement. I know it must seem silly to you, pathetic even. It seems tough. It does? Sure. You have a different kind of life, Kenna. You get caught with some boy and wars get started. <laughs> Probably not that bad. What I'm saying is that the stakes have always been so high in everything you do. It's not surprising for you to want to escape and you know, kiss someone without any geopolitical ramifications. <laughs> Big words for you, and reassuring ones as well. The serving girls in the castle all gossip about you, you know. By all reports, you're quite experienced. I might have heard a rumor or two. And how about tonight? 
I've seen at least half a dozen girls giving you the, oh, please kiss me, look. Maybe the girl I want isn't as easy to get. Dumb. Perhaps I'm overstepping, but don't you think your first kiss should be with someone you want? I, I do, but princesses aren't allowed that luxury. At least, not officially. No, not officially. Kenna. <sighs> okay, I still don't ship them, all right? I'm shaking my finger at the microphone as if you could see me. I still do not ship them, but I do want them to kiss because... I actually do agree with him that it's super shitty that she wants kisses and can't have them. So, this is a friend kiss. <laughs> kiss, Kenneth. You lean in and press your lips to hers. For one second, it feels like the friend you've grown up with could be something more. You feel her start to kiss back, then... Dom... You're blushing, your highness. Your behavior would make anyone blush. Back in the present. So you and the princess? But that was a long time ago. Anyway, we have bigger things to deal with right now. Like preparing for Kenna's attack. <clears throat> I don't think you should have told Tristan that. <laughs> now playing as Kenna. After two days of hard riding through the grasslands. Are you sure Leon and his men are around here? Rumors and gossip are all we have to go on. Mercenaries don't set up long in one place unless there's profit in it. Suddenly a man and a woman step out of the high grass, each wearing vastly different gear. Stop right there! What are you two doing here? I recognize that armor. That's Stormhold armor. You're familiar with this armor? If you're a Stormhold soldier, you must be loyal to Captain Leon. I was a Stormhold soldier, but there's no Stormhold anymore. Not in any way that matters. I ride for myself now. This is all very entertaining, but you're suspiciously close to our encampment. You think we'd last long out here if we let anyone just wander in? This is a misunderstanding. We want to see your leader. Demanding, aren't we? Well, you're in no position to ask for anything. Hand over your weapons. What? This is our territory. Here, you do what we say. Now. Whew, okay. <laughs> Chapter progress! You killed the assassin in the forest! You chose to tell Tristan about a past festival experience with Kenna. And that was that was the whole chapter. <laughs> um Look how awesome we're doing! 88 out of 88 on the army score. Um, so that's chapter three. And in chapter four, we get to Make friends with the lovely new people that we just met, the mercenaries. And that will be wonderful. And everything will be lovely forever. <laughs> um, so once again, this is the crown and the flame. Um, my name is Anna Mardal. There are 18 of these chapters and we just finished number three. So we've got a few more to go. And I will see you in the next video. I hope you guys are having great holidays right now if you celebrate any holidays and if you don't then i hope you're having a good non-holiday i will see you in the next video Bye bye